Hi Libra! Welcome to your weekly reading. Hope you guys are all doing well. Thank you so much for visiting my channel. I am the Good, the Bad, and the Tarot, here to give you your weekly uh, forecast for November 26th through December the 2nd, 2018. Uh, first, just two quick announcements. Um, the first one is that I do have a, a New Year reading that I'm going to be, that I have up my website. It is for 2019. It's called the Reflection of the Year Reading, Your New Year Forecast for 2019. Um, it is a 50-minute reading um, for $59, I believe, and it will cover every month of your life going forward in 2019. What are the major themes and challenges of 2019 for you? And we can focus on whatever questions are important for you going forward. Um, I'll also be looking at the major theme or challenge for 2019 in general. Um, if you're interested in booking that reading, I really recommend doing it sooner rather than later because December, as you know, is very busy with the holidays and many people do book this reading, um, reading type, so it, it can be, um, you know, it, it will go fast. So I do recommend uh, getting in on that while it is available. Also, many of you already know this, but I do offer private readings. Uh, if you'd like to book a private reading, I have openings over the next two weeks, and I will be opening up the December calendar very soon, so be sure to check that out. Um, you can book at your own convenience through my client scheduling page or the app there or through my website. Um, I also do group readings in the Chicago area, so if you want to do a group reading uh, for a special event, a party, a uh, family, or even just a friendly gathering, um, you can definitely email me regarding that. Um, I only do in the Chicago area right now, and that's just because of transportation costs and expenses um, and so forth, but um, I'm, I'm open to potentially traveling if you um, are able to cover the transportation costs and so forth, just to keep that in mind. So, uh, let's go ahead and get started with your week ahead forecast, Libra. And this reading is for all my Libras out there. <clears throat> Libra suns, moons, and risings. Libras on the cusp. And Libras on the cusp. From November 26th through December the 2nd. I'm going to do the six cards that we did like last time. If you've been watching my weekly readings, I do six cards. How you see yourself today, Libra? What is the theme for you this week? What is the big picture for Libra? Something that Libra has already learned. That will be useful, excuse me, useful for them to remember. A challenge uh, face that Libra will be facing this week. A lesson Libra is learning now and a gift Libra will receive this week. So let's see. For all my Libras out there that may be watching, Libra suns, moons, and risings. And Libras on the cusp, please show me the six cards for November the 26th through December the 2nd. Sometimes they're ready, sometimes they're not. Let's see, one more shuffle here for Libra. November 26th through December the 2nd. It's really unfortunate when you have paper cuts on your uh, major fingers. Because <laughs> every time I shuffle the cards, I'm afraid I'm going to get the paper cut again. Alright, let's see what's going on for you guys this upcoming week. Underneath the deck, we've got the Eight of Cups here. Yeah. So I see actually a woman here who's asking, this can be your partner or significant other, uh, you know, what's wrong? What's wrong? Someone is not opening up to you. Um, there can be distance here. I feel someone here is withdrawn emotionally. However, they've given everything. They've given so much. Um, this can also be someone here who is walking away. They feel disappointed. They feel like they're not getting, you know, they, they don't feel satisfied. So they're withdrawing from the, a relationship here. It can just also be that, um, 
someone here wants answers. Someone here wants answers. They don't feel content with the answers they're getting. And so I do see one party who wants, you know, communication and another person who is very withdrawn and, and, and is refusing to possibly talk or open up. But let's see, that's the underlying theme or challenge of this reading. Let's go ahead and look at your cards now. How you see yourself today, Libra, we have the Prince of Arrows. Okay, that's that air sign energy. We have Cupid here. So are you playing Cupid? Are you Cupid, Libra? What I'm seeing here is um, thinking about speaking to someone, possibly. You also are, I feel like you're watching, you're watching a situation. You're curious. I see curiosity. I see someone here who's very intellectual, a writer, a student, um, someone who is uh, possibly monitoring a situation. There can be spying, although I'm not necessarily seeing that. Of course, there is the potential for, since we have the Cupid here and the Prince of Arrows, you're thinking about shooting your arrow at someone. You've got someone in mind here. So yeah, you've got, you've got your mindset on something here. I think that you're thinking about communicating, um, but mostly I'm just seeing someone who's very watchful, very curious, and um, has a good sort of bird's eye perspective of the situation. So they're just kind of uh, there can also be some suspicious, some, some sorry, some suspicion there. You may be suspicious about someone. You could be watching someone from afar. Let's see the theme for you this week, Libra. The big picture is the seven of staves in reverse. Okay, so this is about possibly backing off or having to defend yourself. I definitely see a lot of fire energy here. This can be Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy coming through. Um, but, uh, either you're backing down from a very challenging situation, you're being forced to kind of back off. Um, this can be with regards to a, another uh, fire sign here, or it could be the situation where, you know, you're, um, you kind of have the upper hand here and you're telling others to back off of you. Um, this can also indicate, you know, unblocking someone or um, feeling like, you know, whatever the challenges are you're facing, it's just too much and it's it's making you withdraw from a situation, which kind of goes back to the card at the bottom of the deck here, which is the Eight of Cups. So uh, a theme for you this week is, I mean, if you're in a situation where you're being forced to kind of, you feel very frustrated, you feel like someone is just putting the screws to you, um, you know, definitely do speak up, definitely defend yourself. But here I'm seeing that, you know, the big picture is that, um, you know, you, you could be dealing with someone here who is a bit of a fire breathing dragon and um, they could just be too much for you to handle is what I'm seeing. And you just are, um, yeah, you, you have defended yourself in the past, but it may not be worth your time right now. You may just, um, you may just decide to kind of duck out is what I'm seeing. You know, duck out of the picture is what I'm seeing. Something you've already learned that will be useful for you to remember this week. And we have Prince of Cups in reverse. Uh, now, this, is, this can be a water sign, specifically Pisces male energy. Um, I mean, I feel like if anything, you've learned that um, either this person can be very disappointing uh, they may have let you down in the past. Um, this can the Prince of Cups reverse is usually a disappointing message or something that kind of it's kind of like that Debbie Downer moment, you know, wah 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 wah. So here I'm seeing also messages. Um, possibly you don't want to be disappointed again in love, or you don't want to. Um, you know, put yourself on the line with someone that's just going to frustrate you. Either way, um, I'm seeing here, this is also regarding immaturity in love, the inability to kind of express emotions from a very mature perspective. Um, this can also be having to do with like text messages, communication in the love department. But here I'm seeing someone who, um, they kind of screwed up. They don't really... Um, they don't really make you happy. They're, they don't please you with their responses. So 
Um, it could be that you've already learned your lesson when it comes to this person. And of course, if this is your energy, um, it's definitely that, you know, you've learned that, um, you know, emotional immaturity and, you know, acting childish in relationships and specifically with messaging is just not going to help your situation. In fact, it's just going to make it worse. Um, a challenge for you this week, Libra, is the Eight of Coins in reverse. Some of you could be out of work or not working right now. That could be a challenge. It could also be that you're having trouble focusing or getting into the flow when it comes to a work project. Um, also with relationships, your challenge could be actually committing yourself, putting the hard work in, focusing, um, staying committed to one task or, or even a job. Um, your heart may not be in it or you, because of a disappointment here in love or in, at work, you might just be um, taking a break from that. Um, either way, unfortunately, if you aren't working, uh, it would be hard for you to make money. So that could also be with regards to finances as well or career. Your challenge could be around the work front this week, Libra. A lesson you are learning now, and we have contemplation. So this is the Hermit card, number nine. And we have a man here who, I always think of him, like he has this little musical instrument, he has a cello, and he's painting a picture. You know, these are activities that one can do on their own, in their own time, and enjoy doing very much. So it's kind of saying that you might be learning how to like spend more time on your own doing things that you enjoy doing. Um, you may also be learning a new instrument or maybe even learning a new type of, here this guy is painting, so you could be learning a new skill. Um, but in order to do that, you may have to spend time in practice. Um, you may be practicing uh, or honing your skills this week. Possibly if you're out of work, you could be working on your resume. You could be working on you know, spiffing up your routine if you're a musician or if you're a painter or an artist or in an artistic field, and many Libras are, you could be working on your portfolio this week. So it really just depends. Um, you're learning about contemplation, which is really just a simple act of reflection and um, understanding, thinking back on the past, possibly doing some inner work, um, which is all very positive. And some of you could also have Virgo in your chart um, I'm seeing a Virgo energy here, which is also um, the sign of, or the card of the Major Arcana of the Hermit, uh, for those of you who study the tarot. So a gift you will receive this week, and we have a Nine of Staves in reverse. I don't feel like this is your energy. I feel like, um, you know, if you've been dealing with a pesky fire sign, like a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius, I feel like this person is just going to give up. They don't have the fight in them. They're not willing to kind of push and persevere. Um, for, for a few of you, um, it may be hard for you to give up something that you thought you previously enjoyed doing, such as work, hobbies, um, maybe a project that you always thought that you'd want to do one day. But um, sometimes when we give up on something that is just not paying the bills or is not maybe making us happy, has just been, you know, giving us disappointments, um, or has been disappointing for us in the past, giving up on that um, now rather than later is going to save us, you know, it's like that escalation of commitment, you know, why put off, why put off uh, quitting something that we're not happy doing now? Um, when we could be doing something that makes us much happier in the future. So, you know, the tarot is telling me that um, it's not going, you've got to cut your losses sometimes. And if you're dealing with a fire sign who is not, you know, you're in a relationship with someone who's not putting the effort in, who is, you don't feel like put any effort in, they're not putting any effort in, uh, you feel like they're backing off, uh, they've just been sending you disappointing text messages or whatever, and you just want to be alone, then yeah. Giving up is probably going to be your best bet here. Um, now, I would say that um, for for a few of you, um, if this is uh, if this is something that you absolutely one hundred percent, for example, you you haven't had any luck, you know, applying for a job or whatever, 
um, and you just feel like giving up on that whole process, um, it's okay to take a break. It's okay to take a break, obviously, and maybe this week isn't the week that you're going to be, you know, getting, having success, in which case you can work on other talents, etc. But for others of you, they're telling me this is your gift, is just to rest, to reconsider, to maybe, um, sometimes we have to fail in order to win. I mean, people in the software industry know this very well, that they've got to fail nine times out of ten before they can get that golden opportunity, that golden program. So um, just realize that just because you might give up on something doesn't mean that you're giving up on your life or you're giving up on whatever it is that you love doing. It's just uh, maybe some of you need to um, take a step back and reflect and see, is this really, really where my heart is at? Is this really, really what I want to be doing right now? Um, maybe there's something better out there for me. Just a thought. And we go back to the card at the bottom of the deck, which is the Eight of Cups here. And uh, yeah, if your heart's not in it, walk, you've got you've to move on, right? Because we're always in search of that Ninth Cup. And um, I don't think that, I mean, I don't know your situation specifically, but um, it's never too late. It's never too late to cut your losses, right? Especially if things haven't been going 100% for you. Wonderfully. Libra, thank you so much for watching. This is your weekly reading. Um, I, If you resonated, please uh, like, share, subscribe, and comment below. Even if you didn't, please uh, give me a like uh, for this reading. I really do appreciate it. It does help my videos um, get out there to more people that might be needing to see this reading. So your love and support is greatly appreciated. Have a wonderful week, Libra, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.